Hi, this is Paul Ives with the American Speedy Association. Just going to talk about some of the tactics of taking a goal kick and how you can maximize your play. So let's look at a, a couple of situations on the table right here. Here you can see I'm kind of wide open and um, I would probably force a goal kick for myself anyway if it was my flick right here and it was my possession. But definitely when I'm wide open like this, sometimes it's a, a good situation to take advantage of a goal kick where we can reset our figures. In this situation, pretty much a no-brainer. So I'm going to force out and I'm going to uh, take a goal kick. Now from here, um, one thing I always stress with new players in particular is you can be really lazy or not aware of some of the options for yourself on a goal kick. First of all, good chance obviously you want to reset your defensive line. But also, you've got possession, so you want to be thinking about what you want to do. Um, one thing that we may see become quite common, I know in the World Cup, some of our players came back and they saw that, um, especially if you're trailing in a game, may place some of your figures, some offensive figures, on the line. And you actually are the first player as the offensive player. You set your players first, which is a really important part of the rules. The defense then cannot move your players off that line. A lot of people feel that you can, but you cannot do that. And the defensive figures need to be uh, set one ball's width away. And we can see the ball there. That's a minimum. They can't be put there, but they can be put right here. So we might get a situation with this. Uh, we might see this become more common because I think a number of the players from the World Cup saw this. So if we had a setup, let's say I'm playing as two players here, of course. Uh, common things that I see from new players is if you've got a player up here, then people, um, the defender may just throw a couple of figures around. You really want to see this as a marking opportunity if you're on defense. You, again, don't want to just play a figure right here. You want to talk about or think about, and I also think about pushing the figure towards the line, not on the inside. So I'd want to place my defensive figure right here. And defense always gets to go last on that placement. And then when, you, when everything's established that we're ready to play, then the team on offense will play. Um, <clears throat> from here... Common beginner mistake, especially with this type of goalie, a lot of, I see some players who like to just advance the ball like so. You have very little control on this uneven surface on the, on the goalie, so not really a great strategy. Okay? Um, I also see some players, um, more, again, beginner, maybe even some pretty good players starting to really get into the game, who may think about using their spare goalie. Again, you don't, this is an opportunity for the other team to steal or if you make a mistake, you could really uh, cause some problems for yourself. So I would say the most common, um, definitely what I prefer, is to use one of my outfield figures. And also, I might, because again, I've been marked up pretty closely right here, I may use this as an opportunity to play off the ball and advance another figure for a later attack or into an open area, because I've not been marked down in this area. So as I play right here, I'm going to advance my figure into an open area that I don't have anybody marked on, and then I can play from there. Okay? Um, so, a couple of things there I really want to stress on defense. You don't want to get lazy, especially you'll see when you're playing a better player, you want to really pay attention to making sure you've got some preemptive blocking almost on those players on the offensive side. Um, feel free to come back again to American Superior Association for more tips on tactical play. And uh, thanks for viewing.